So before I start my video, I just want to give you the information. Obviously, I hit 10,000 subscribers in April, but that wasn't all. April was my best ever month on YouTube with all my analytics, pretty much. I got the highest ever views I've had in a month, the most view time I've ever had in a month, and the most subscribers I've ever had in a month. And I want to say you guys are absolutely insane. The live streams have been absolutely sick recently. The amount of people that are tuning in and the amount of people that are just smashing that like button on live streams is insane. We've hit 175 likes on a live stream which would be like really good just for a video for streams i normally would get like 30 to 40 last year so it's going so well right now i'm enjoying youtube more than ever and it's down to you guys thank you so much for being a part of the community guys i'm really enjoying my time making videos right now and i, I do hope you enjoy them i just wanted to say thank you but here is the video do enjoy Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we are going to be going over the upcoming events, there are multiple events coming up, one is called Cinco de Mayo and the other one is called Paging Dr. Stevens. We also have some other information with regards to comic book collections coming into the store and most likely the black market. So let's first take a look at this week's calendar as you can see. We have the Hell Hath No Fury event coming to an end on Tuesday. We have all of the tournaments this week with Lewis as the rewards, as well as a faction onslaught that starts later today on Monday. But we also have a Battle of Cinco de Mayo, which means the 5th of May, and it starts on the 5th of May. If you didn't know that in Spanish, that Cinco de Mayo means 5th of May. And I didn't know this. I didn't know this. I, th I thought it meant just something kind of cool, and it's kind of just average now. I thought it was like, like basically 9th of November, you know? But C Cinco de Mayo starts on Tuesday and some of the information we have regarding this is that it is going to be a faction assault event. It's a sort of teased on the discord about a week ago but has been confirmed with the introduction of this calendar as the full calendar on the discord just breaks down you know the actual dates times it actually has in brackets faction assault. So we have another faction assault event. Obviously the last one we had was the Falcon assault event. A lot of people liked a lot of the things that were introduced with Falcon assault. There were some things that were not great of course. We had the will that was kind of annoying in terms of what we got. We got four star characters. I think it was really high percentage at the time. Really low star characters is exactly what you do not need. But we did get a massive abundance of the assault markers which I have been using quite a lot on the trainers as you can see I already bought three Liliths this week and basically if any gear goes on sale or extreme sale I generally buy it. And as you see we do have a hockey mask right here so I am going to pick that up. It was on sale. I generally don't pick things up unless they are on sale except the trainers just because it's well worth it. I think the best thing that you can get in here are bennies so if you ever see bennies here pick them up because they're quite cheap and you can get three of them and that's a lot of xp for a character now back to the battle of cinco de mayo we do have the event running for eight days it'll probably be seven days and then a 24 hour period just to sort of claim your rewards they probably will have something within the black market with this i think they're going to be using the black market quite a lot whether we have a wheel as well or anything like that is unclear we should have some more information within the next 24 hours maybe even today one thing i will say about faction assault however is the last faction assault which was of course falcon assault they were going to introduce a new tier i believe but they ended up not doing it because they i think they were unclear about the power of s class teams and they just wanted maybe some people to test out see how they build teams to take down tier six they did make tier six harder i think that was initially just to test out the sort of difficulty level that people could take down people were still doing really well getting obviously millions and millions of points so i think they'll introduce a tier seven when they do whether it'll be with cinco de mayo or not but they'll introduce a tier seven make it a bit harder than it was for the current tier six and then maybe bring tier six down a little bit again so we'll have to wait and see but it'll be interesting it'll be very interesting i've got some characters obviously at s class now which will be really useful to use the likes of wang far and deyu s class characters means they're going to stay alive longer and just honestly just a bit more fun so that will be coming on tuesday the 5th of may cinco de mayo a faction assault event now, as you can see on the calendar as well, the Golden Kendama Challenge finishes on the 8th of May. And then right after that, on the 8th of May, Paging Dr. Steven starts. Now, the image on the calendar says it starts on the 7th of May. It says 7th of the 5th or, you know, 5-7 if you're American doing it backwards. But it is on the 8th on the actual, like, overlay. So it's unclear whether they've 
messed up the date on the Paging Dr. Stevens part or if they messed up the, the positioning of it on the calendar. However, it probably is more the, the writing on it is wrong because it should start probably after the Kendama challenge. It is a multi-week event. So obviously this is like a follow-on from Hell Hath No Fury. It's in the same tier as well. It's at the top. And I think there may be like the top stuff is going to be the multi-week events. And then the one below that is like the level up tournaments. The one below that just seems to be other tournaments. Savile Roads, Faction Onslaught, Raid Tournament. So the timing looks good now. It lasts just under a month and we have had an event recently that I thought was pretty good which was the Shattered Spring event. Obviously there was a character involved in that which was Aaron and obviously the amount of gear you could get out of that was pretty good if you grinded hard. Now there are a lot of people thinking that this could be S-Class Dr. Stevens from the current six star character. I, I'd probably put a pin in that quite quickly and say it's extremely unlikely they're going to make an S-Class out of the very very powerful six star dr stevens because if they did they'd have to make him just as powerful as his six star otherwise people wouldn't actually take him as an s class and if they did that then he'd be too powerful St just straight up he'd be too powerful i think if it is going to be a new character and it's a dr stevens it's just going to be a brand new character now if it is like the shattered spring event where there was lots of gear i kind of hope there's going to be some trainers because personally gear is not as much of an issue as it once was just because we're getting a lot of gear now they're doing a better job at getting gear out obviously because of these events so you could argue if they don't have gear in this event then it's not going to be as good but trainers are a massive issue have been ongoing they have tried to bump up the rewards like in the golden kandama roadmap every single section has five trainers as the last reward which is pretty good and so that's 15 trainers getting in your hands i mean that isn't going to be doing too much on an s class character but it is definitely better than the one trainer that we are used to. Also, level up tournaments are dishing out a lot of trainers as rewards as well. First place gets you 30 basils. Again, that's a lot, but at the same time, it isn't going to be doing too much of a dent. I think we need that big trainer event just to get an influx because raising those S-Class characters is really hard, especially if you are in a region where you've maxed out your scav camps and your scav missions and you are not getting your got lucky very often. I have got two regions, I've talked about this quite a lot, where one region is completely maxed out, gets you got lucky maybe four to five times a week and then the other region has got it perfect where I've maxed out my scav missions and only done the golden missions up to downtown and I get you got lucky like 10 to 12 times a week, which is like nearly a million XP difference, you know, 500,000 plus. And if you just put an S class character in there alone, they can complete it. So that's lots of XP onto S class characters. So while this isn't going to be a thing that's been announced or anything, I do hope that you got lucky gets a little tweak in the future because it's not great at the moment. So paging Dr. Stevens, less information known here, but because it's a multi week event, I think we're going to have the sort of stuff that we've had in the past. Most likely a character's involved, Dr. Stevens looks fairly likely, gear and or trainers because we are going to be getting a lot of Ascendance medals from the Battle of Cinco de Mayo. I don't think there's going to be too much Ascendance involvement in the actual Paging Dr. Stevens event. But more information on that to come probably on Thursday or Friday. But do give me your thoughts on the calendar itself. I am sharing it on my community tab every time it gets released just to give you the information yourself. If you aren't on the Discord, if you don't see it, it's always good to know what characters are coming up. Like I said, Lewis is this week. Last week was Wang Fa. The week before that was Heng Yen. And we knew that because of these calendars i think that's a nice little touch that they've added here and visually obviously this was never upgraded for the last two years it was initially introduced and i think it was a great introduction but it wasn't updated at all for ages but texas come in and, and that's something that's been upgraded and i do like the visuals it looks great also not part of the upcoming events at all but like i said in the intro there is going to be some new additions to the black market most likely in the store and it will be comic book collections will be added there most of these are limited time anyway and this will be for things like the s class crates or the can crates that you can hand in for like 10 to 15 to 20 comic books so keep an eye on the black market section for more updates here the tabs at the top let you see what you can go for what you can claim right now personally i'm having an issue with the black market however where when something is added here it's not actually telling me whereas when everything is added to offers featured or supply depot i am getting those updates so there is a little bit of a bug around the black market for me personally I'm not sure if this is affecting anybody else though. But do give me your thoughts on the upcoming events, your hopes, your dreams. What would you like to see character-wise, reward-wise, you know, enjoyment-wise? Are there certain parts of past events that you want to see repeated? Do put it in the comments. Thank you very much for tuning in though, guys. That is the end of my video. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep 
on surviving.